How y'all doing? Welcome back. My name's Tim Broxton. We got another episode of What's in the Fridge with EZB tonight. We're going to have an incredible steak out on the grill. We're going to have some Montana buffalo. Very healthy. We're also going to have some fish with that with a uh, salsa verde. It's going to be made from uh, tomatillos. So it's going to really be a tomatillo salsa. We're going to accompany that with some beautiful organic golden potatoes. And we also have some fresh organic spinach to throw in the mix. Stick around and I'll show you how to put it all together. All right, so I'm taking a look at the fridge. This is our buffalo steak. Oh, quickly, why buffalo is better than beef. Not only is it 50 to 70% leaner than beef, it's also tastier than beef. It has a lighter taste, doesn't leave a greasy film in your mouth, and it's incredibly high in protein. A lot of good omegas, everything you want right here in this buffalo. Looking in the veggie bin, I'm gonna pull out some spinach. I'm gonna pull out an onion. And we got some mushrooms we're gonna throw in the mix tonight. And get our fish. That'll be everything. Piece by piece, I'm gonna show you what we're working with tonight. For our tomatillo salsa, we've got six tomatillos, a half teaspoon of cumin, half the juice of a lime, a full lime, a handful of cilantro chopped, one half red onion chopped, and three cloves of garlic. For our steak, we have an inch and a half thick buffalo ribeye. Unbelievable, we're gonna sear that on the grill outside. For our potatoes, we got three golden potatoes. We cut them about a quarter inch to about a half inch thick. We're gonna drizzle them with some olive oil and throw some Montreal steak seasoning on them. Can't go wrong. All right, our spinach, we're gonna saute our spinach. We got about five bunches of organic spinach and we've got a tablespoon of render bacon fat that we're going to use with that and we're going to have a quarter of a spanish onion chopped thrown in incredible flavor it's going to be nice mushrooms we got half a package or about eight ounces of uh, white button mushrooms we're going to have an eighth a cup of stock that's going to be beef uh, some fawn that i saved from the bottom of my pan i'm going to throw a little wine in there with that it's going to be absolutely fantastic Thanks again for coming to Easy Bee's Kitchen. You can find me at easybkitchen.com. My name's Tim Broxton. I want to thank Tony Hollingsworth, my trusty film guy tonight. And this is another place you can find me here at youtube.com slash user slash Kitchen. Stick around. We're going to have a great time tonight. We're taking it to the grill. All right, guys, this is going to be a great meal. Everything tonight is going to be very simple. Here we have our buffalo ribeye, an inch and a half thick of love right there, okay? We got tri-colored uh, seasonings here. We got white salt, black pepper, white pepper. This is a beautiful piece of redfish, okay? This was obtained right here in good old Gainesville, Georgia at Atlanta Highway Seafood Market. Thanks a lot, Fawn. This is some great fish. Here's the ingredients for our tomatillo salsa, okay? We got the tomatillos themselves some lime, a handful of cilantro, some red pepper, fresh garlic, and a bit of cumin. All right, here's our mushrooms, very simple. White button mushrooms. Gonna throw a little red wine in there with that. A little uh, rendered bacon fat. They're gonna be unbelievable. Here are our potatoes with none other than Montreal steak seasoning. You can find that at your local grocery store. Here's our spinach, beautiful organic spinach. We're gonna throw a little bacon in there, okay? It's gonna make it nice. We're gonna chop that bacon up once we render the fat from it. We're gonna throw in the spinach and the onion, and then at the end, our little bacon crispies. Take a look at that plate, how beautiful it is. I think I could just eat it as it is. But this is what we're gonna to do to make our tomatillo salsa for our redfish, okay? We've cut up the tomatillos quite nicely, and you can see they are the majority uh, of what's on this plate. And then we take our red onion, Oh, this just the smells already is unbelievable. Our garlic, and I, I got about five or six cloves. You might want to back it down to, to uh, two or three, but I just, I love gar garlic personally, and the people here joining me tonight do too. So we're gonna throw in our juice of uh, one half of a lime, just to get things going. And we're gonna throw in a little cumin and a little bit of salt, just a touch of salt, because we already got all this nice spice in here, a whole lot of salt's not gonna be necessary. Throw the top on your blender, pulse that around. Oh, now it's really starting to smell incredible. 
blended up very nicely. We're just going to throw that into a bowl and you can see the colors. I, I really wish you could smell this. It's so fresh, so light. Just what fresh fish want. Something fresh, something light. That's what we got here. There's our tomatillo salsa. We're going to throw our mushrooms right in there and get those co coated evenly. Okay. Then we're going to throw our wine in here. Very simple recipe. Okay. And we're going to let that wine reduce by two thirds. All right, guys, as you can see, we got the grill going. We got some nice smoky mesquite wood going. There's even remnants of snow out here, but we're not going to let that stop us from grilling. Okay. We've got this beautiful inch and a half thick piece of buffalo. We're just going to throw it right on the grill and we're going to close the lid and let this cook for about four minutes. All right, now we're going to start the fish. See that beautiful red fish? I just took a little sea salt on both sides. No point in over spicing it because we have our tomatillo salsa. It's going to be great. So we just get a little olive oil and we're just going to take this fish, throw it right in the pan and we're just for a little bit just going to gently shake that, okay? Okay, it's been going now for about a minute and we're just continually shaking the pan gently. This prevents it from sticking. It also helps the fish re release the gel it has. And what we're going to do, we're just spooning uh, time and time again the oil that's in the pan onto the top of the fish. It's just really putting the flavor right back into the fish. I can smell the, the flavors cooking out and we're just basing it and spooning it right back on top of that. You can see I continue to shake the pan and you can see about the doneness of the fish. It's starting to show on this side a little white. So what I'm going to do is take my spatula and carefully flip that fish over, shake it a bit more. And this time I'm going to throw it into a 350 oven ready to go. That's going to be in there for about five minutes. That fish will be ready for a tomatillo salsa. We've started our spinach dish by cooking the bacon. We've rendered the fat from the bacon. And now we're going to throw in our onions. And you can see how I've cut them just nice, thin, almost a julienne style. And we're going to throw those into the bacon grease and let those cook just long enough to get soft, OK? Because I want a little bit of crunch left on there. That's why I'm just sitting on a high heat. The, the oil is going to soften them up for us just a bit. And then we're going to take our spinach. You can see it looks like a lot of spinach, but it's really only enough for two people. Okay. We're going to take our spinach, throw it right in, and then just continuously toss this in the oil and make sure it gets coated evenly. All right. This is the minute we've all been waiting for. The culmination of all of this lovely food. Unbelievable. The smells are incredible. I'm going to show you how to plate it. You're going to take you a couple of potatoes here and you're going to get some of this beautiful spinach. And this is surf and turf, right? Like no other. Get you a little bit of the fish, which turned out absolutely gorgeous. Put it up front. We're going to garnish it with our lovely and flavorful tomatillo salsa like that. I'm going to show you how this, how this buffalo turned out. You can see that's a perfect temperature right there. Okay. I'm going to stick that right on the plate. And what am I going to do, but take these lovely mushrooms we worked hard at and put them right on top. Okay. I can't wait to taste it. And here I go. Mmm. Mesquite smoke. That's how they cook out west. That's the first thing I taste. And then the fish with the tomatillo salsa. Mm. Beautiful. Perfectly cooked. We were able to compose this entire dish in well under an hour. Here we have a gourmet and delicious meal. Healthy surf and turf. Right here in What's in the Fridge with Easy B. My name's Tim Broxton and we'll see you next time.